very very warm welcome and good day for all the students so just give a confirmation that both my audio and video are working fine by giving a like to this video or typing yes in the live chat section i am just checking out your comments thank you so much uh, for the confirmation friends so i am live right now and this is our session today we are going to see allergies and dermatitis this is allergic disorders and dermatitis topic uh, discussion today and this is a series in which we have already covered since the last uh, you know 3 days basics adnex and appendages hair nails and skin pigmentation and yes today we are going to cover this topic myself dr madhuri shinwa certified dermatologist from india discussing derma related topics in my youtube channel as image based questions mcqs and previous year questions so if in case you are new to this channel please do subscribe so that you will get all the latest updates of the videos which are going to post in the future with a mission and vision to help all the pre pg students and also over the dermatology pgs also for them also i am going to start the uh, you know videos in the upcoming days so i want this channel to become the one stop source for all the derma related queries uh, anywhere in the world so if in case you have not yet checked out uh, the fmg recall session the link is there in the description also i will put it in the first comment you can check that out put god first and you will never be last so just believe in god and if you are an atheist then your soul and your thoughts are nothing but the god so have positive uh, approach positive thought process then ultimately the end result is going to be awesome so you should always think that i can do it this should be your this should be your thought process and uh, so quick recap of the rules for this test and discussion the quiz is going to be for 10 15 minutes i will show you the questions with question numbers all you need to do is in the live chat type in the question number followed by the option whichever you feel is the right answer for that question and at the end of uh, all the questions we shall have the explanation part and next day live tnd uh, link i will try to pin it in the comment section or i will put it uh, post it in the telegram group and yes for pdf version of this so uh, just if in case you like these videos and if in case you wish to have the soft copy of this uh, classes just type in the comment section pdf pdf just type in the comment section pdf then if many number of students feel that they are having some advantage because of these questions i will post the soft copy in the telegram group and yes every day 10 pm join for 10 minutes uh, quick very very quick recap of all the important questions so all the very best uh, friends we shall start with the sessions so this is the first question very very warm welcome anantmon so i will start the timer so today's questions are actually little bit lengthy so what we shall do is uh, we shall keep of a time period of 50 seconds for every question <coughs> 50 seconds is going to be the time period for all of you for each question so your time starts now the timer is already running so type in the question number 1 followed by whatever answer you feel is correct yes vasundra anantmon and gopi gave me the answers so little bit lengthy question so read them carefully everybody those who is uh, those who are watching this session please uh, do participate actively by putting your answer in the live chat and the time is up yes very good all of you are absolutely right it is lichenification which is the answer for this question and this is your second question so again the time starts now hartogi sign is so read all the options very very carefully basically hartogi sign uh, 
since we are discussing dermatitis topic it is seen in atopic dermatitis okay you should remember that and out of the given options which one do you think is hertogesen a small clue this is also called as queen anis sign queen anis sign okay Antamon says option A is the answer and uh, Vasundara, Dr. Vasundara says option C is the answer. So, you must be very clear that the atopic dermatitis topic is very, very important and very high yielding in this entire dermatitis topic. So, you need to have a focus on this. And the answer for this question is, it is loss of lateral part of the eyebrows okay option a is the answer okay please make a note of this very very important point very very important one liner also to be frank actually and read this question very carefully and uh, yes um, fine a 50 year old woman presents with brownish red flat top pruritic papillary eruptions over her limbs and trunk with sparing of the face and abdominal flexures i will give you one clue for this this sparing of the face and uh, flexures it is called as deck chair sign so now you need to identify what is the diagnosis in this question yes question number three what do you guys feel is the answer for this quick quick the timer is almost coming to an end 50 seconds so I got not even a single, uh, you know, student answering this question. So the time is up and the answer for this question is option C. That is papilloerythroderma of Ofuji. Very, very important. This could be a potential future MCQ. Okay, make a note of it. And this is the question number four. Question number four. So you need to identify the wrong statement which is related to this image which you are able to see. I will give you a hint. In this image, you are able to see some very, very deep seated vesicles. This is a picture of the palms. Okay. So, deep seated vesicles are seen over the palms. And these are, in fact, also called as. So, uh, it is there in one of the options. So, I should not utter that. You need to identify which of the following is a wrong statement, incorrect statement regarding this picture. Yes, I am not getting even a single answer. Yes, friends. Question number four, what do you think is the answer? Okay, Gopi gave me the answer as option C. Very good. Very, very good, uh, Gopi. You are absolutely correct. So, yes, it is option C, which is the wrong statement here. And the diagnosis is form for it. So, we will discuss it after all the questions are completed. This is question number five. Your time starts now. You need to identify the wrong statement among the given options regarding eczema. Very good, Sanjay. You have also marked it as right answer. That is option C, the previous question. Yes, now please try to answer this question as question number 5. And which option do you think is incorrect regarding eczema? Okay, Dr. Sanjay says option C is the incorrect statement. Yes, others. Come on, friends. If you want more time, uh, you can uh, uh, type in the comment section time. Then I will increase it to 60 seconds. Maybe uh, 50 seconds is a very, very fast uh, time actually for few students to read. But yes, the answer for this question is option C. Option C. Okay. And I think I will uh, give 60 seconds for all the students. Yes. So, read this carefully. 60 seconds will be the time now. The complications of erythroderma include the following except. Question number 6. What do you think is the answer for this question?
Yes, erythroderma, it is also called as exfoliative dermatitis. It is also called as exfoliative dermatitis. Okay, Dr. Sanjaya doubtfully says hypoalbuminemia. Okay. And the uh, time is up. The time is up. And uh, please remember the answer is hyperthermia. So, it is not the complication of erythroderma. Okay. So, let us move on to the next question. Question number 7. Your time starts now. A 28 year old male presents with a well demarcated coin shaped erythematous block on his left shin. What is the diagnosis for this clinical picture? Question number 6, uh, the answer was Yes, the time still 15 seconds more. Seventh question option B is what I am getting as the majority answer. Very good, uh, friends. So, in fact, all of you have marked it right. It is numbular eczema, which is also called as discoid eczema. It's called also called as discoid eczema. Okay. Yes, this is question number eight. Please try to answer this. The UK, United Kingdom refinement of honey, thin and Rajka criteria is used to diagnose. Which are the following conditions? Yes, very good. Dr. MVRL, you have marked it right. The question number 7 answer is B. Gopi, Vasundara, everybody has marked it right. Very good. So, this is the next 8th question. UK refinement of honey, thin Rajka criteria is used to diagnose. Okay, Sandhya says atopic eczema is the answer. MBRL says option A is the answer. Atopic eczema, atopic eczema, Vasundara. Very good. Okay, almost everybody is with the right answer. So, we will move on and uh, we will see the next question. So, question number 9. Read the question very carefully, read the options also very carefully and then only try to answer question number 9. 7 year old child presents with a hypopigmented patch on his face with fine scaling. Atopic history is there in the family. What do you think is the diagnosis for this question? Yes, Gopi, you have also marked it right. Very good. So, Sanjaya says option D is the answer. Peter says Alba. MBRL says option D is the answer. That is Peter says Alba. Yes, friends, others, what do you think is the answer? Come on. Gopi says yes, Peter says Alba is the answer. Vasundara also says yes, almost everybody is with the right answer. It is Petrus Salba. So, I have seen few students by looking at this atopic word in the question, they uh, mark atopic eczema. So, please don't make that mistake, okay, in the exam. So, this is the next question. A patient presents to the derma clinic complaining that a birthmark that was asymptomatic has now become pruritic with the following appearance. So, in the picture, you are able to see some uh, black colored lesion is there surrounded by erythema. So, what do you think is the diagnosis in this question? Question number 10. You are having 60 seconds of time. So, please do uh, try to mark the answer in the chat section within the 60 seconds time. So, question number D, I got, <coughs> question number 10, I got option D as the answer from Vasundara. Very good. 
others uh, i think you have not seen this question or uh, yes mvrl also marked option d very very good friend so it is halo dermatitis it is also called as myerson nevus it is also called as myerson nevus okay this is question number 11 so please try to answer this a 11 year old girl presents with itchy lesions on her arm as shown her family history is positive for asthma what could be the most probable diagnosis so you have 60 seconds time for uh, answering this question So Gopi says it is uh, option B, atopic dermatitis. Uh, Dr. Sabha Satish, Vasundara, Sandhya, Akhil, MBRL. Everybody says option B is the right answer. So yes, we have already got the answer. It is atopic dermatitis. Very, very good. All of you are absolutely right. And yes, it is type 1 hypersensitivity very good okay let us move on to the next question so uh, this is a little bit lengthy question so we will have one minute and uh, 20 seconds for this question one minute 20 seconds read it very very carefully and then try to answer one minute 20 seconds so 80 seconds a 30 year old domestic help domestic help uh, in the sense so the person who does the daily chores presents to the derma clinic with intensely pruritic lesions for three days history reveals that the lesions started to develop after she recently changed the cleansing uh, cleaning detergent choose the incorrect statement with respect to the likely diagnosis so first thing is you need to uh, identify what is the diagnosis and then you need to identify what is the incorrect statement regarding uh, this diagnosis So we are dealing with the dermatitis uh, chapter so most likely uh, maybe it is ICD or ACD so one among them. So you, you need to identify diagnosis. Diagnosis here is uh, irritant contact dermatitis. So I have given you the diagnosis. So uh, depending upon that try to identify which of the following options is incorrect in relation to the irritant contact dermatitis. So Anantamun says option D as the answer, Vasundara says it is option C as the answer. So very good Vasundara, the answer for this question is that is the incorrect statement regarding irritant contact dermatitis is option C. Okay, so we we'll, shall see the ex, in the explanation part but yes, now please try to answer this question. Gold standard diagnostic test for airborne contact dermatitis is among the given options, what do you think is the answer? Very good, Sanjay. The previous question you have marked the right answer. So, airborne contact dermatitis, uh, it is uh, in short called as ABCD. ABCD does not stand for anybody can dance, but uh, in dermatology, it stands for airborne contact dermatitis. Okay. Question number 13, yes, Sandhya, Anantamon, both of you have marked option B as the answer. So, others, what do you think is the correct answer for this question? Okay, Dr. Vasundara says option C should be the answer. And yes, the time is up. And please remember, friends, so it is patch test, which is the answer here. It is patch test. Okay. Fine, that was, those were the questions and I hope all of you have enjoyed this. So, if in case you have enjoyed this, guys, please like to banta hai. So, please do give like to this video so that, uh, you know, I will also understand that these sessions are really helpful for all of you. And also, I will get motivated to continue this session because not only students, even educators, faculty also do need some motivation or inspiration to continue these kind of sessions. 
for the student uh, students and definitely even if one student finds these sessions uh, useful then uh, my purpose is uh, served and i feel very happy uh, but i should get to know that uh, even other students are also feeling that these sessions are helpful and if you wish to get the notifications of all the sessions every day join my telegram also you can follow me on instagram and the links are there in the de uh, description and yes put god first and you will never be last okay and if you are an atheist you should remember that your thoughts whatever you are thinking every day we are going to get thousands and thousands of thoughts every day all those thoughts you should be very careful in choosing which one to put into the action why because they those thoughts are going to become the actions and those actions are going to give you the fruits that is the results which could be success if your thoughts are positive uh, in a positive direction or those can be in the other way around which you don't like or which you don't deserve okay or which you don't desire and yes uh, so we are going to look at the explanation part but if in case you wish to continue with your revisions apart from this dermatology session you can go back and revise and uh, just remember to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel if you are not yet subscribed and also share these uh, you know videos among your friends so that they will also get some advantage so if uh, you, your colleagues your uh, uh, discussion group students anybody and uh, yes so as i have told you anantamon says pdf yes if you wish to get the pdf for this session so two requirements so the minimum criteria uh, out of uh, the two things is at least the uh, you know you have to write in the comment section as pdf or at least this video should get 20 likes so if either of this is uh, uh, you know achieved uh, whichever is achieved earlier then i will post this as a soft copy in the telegram group the links of the, which are present in the description below and let us you know start uh, with the explanation part of each of the questions which you have uh, already seen very 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 quickly so that you will uh, not waste your time much and i will finish it off uh, very fast so you can see actually this is a very 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 important image so even if you are going to get this image in the exam you need to be uh, you should be in a position to answer it as a lichenification in which we are going to have three important changes what are those important changes the first thing will be the skin will become very very thick so thick skin will be there that is the first change the next change is going to be there is going to be increased pigmentation increased pigmentation and the third change is going to be there there is going to be increased skin markings increased skin markings will be there okay so you can clearly see there is a very very well demarcated hyper pigmented block which is present here over the right leg or the anterior aspect and you can see that it is uh, having pigmentation and there are increased skin markings are you can see the dermatoglyphics they will become more enhanced in this uh, you know lesions and the question says that uh, uh, elderly person is coming with the complaints of itching which is present since very very long period that is five years so it is uh, we can say that the history is of chronic nature so some chronic itching is there he denies any prior treatment so there was no any treatment history and now concerned about hardening of the skin so it is also uh, mentioned in the question that the skin is very very hard what is the secondary skin change involved here okay so in the dermatology we have primary skin lesions secondary skin lesions and special lesions so among which this lichenification comes under the category of secondary skin changes secondary skin changes and due to the chronic uh, itch which is present the skin tries to protect itself by the means of becoming thick and uh, you know in the uh, along with this thickening there will be pigmented changes and increased skin markings as a uh, a uh, concurrent process all these put together we call it as a lichenification okay and this is the second question hertogi sign as i have already given you a clue this is also called as queen queen annie sign this is also called as queen annie sign whereby there is going to be a loss of lateral one third of the eyebrows lateral one third of the eyebrows and this is also called as 
can anyone tell me what is the other name for this loss of lateral uh, portion of the eyebrows yes also uh, please try to uh, post whatever i am asking you why because they should not be uh, like a session whereby i only i am talking and you are just listening to this okay yes can anyone tell me what is this uh, term other other name which is given to the loss of uh, you know lateral portion of the eyebrows so it starts with the letter m i have given you one clue and it's related to psychiatry <laughs> Yes, is there anybody? Come on, guys. It is called as madrosis. Okay. So mad is something related to psychiatry. So it is called madrosis. And uh, regarding the other options, anterior subcapsular cataract. So basically, all these options, if you uh, observe carefully, all these options can be seen associated with atopic dermatitis. All these options are associated with atopic dermatitis. Anterior subcapsular cataract is also called as shield cataract. Shield cataract and transverse crease across the bridge of the nose. This is called as allergic salute. Due to the constant scratching of the uh, you know bridge of the nose, there is going to be a transverse crease developed, and this is also called as allergic cellular. And fold under lower eyelids, which is seen in atopic dermatitis, it is called as Denny Morgan's fold. It is called as Denny Morgan's fold. So all these options uh, can be seen in atopic dermatitis patients. And this question, so uh, it is basically what you are able to see is there is erythema uh, along with that scaling is present, and you are able to notice that classically the uh, flexures, the flexures wherever the skin undergoes folding, whenever uh, you know we try to flex, all those areas are completely spared, and this is called as deck chair sign. And this is looking like erythro. Uh, the picture is looking like erythroderma. But what is the important difference? Is this point sparing of the face and also abdominal flexures, and along with the presence of papillary lesions. So both these point out towards the diagnosis of papillo erythroderma of ophuji. This is a uh, different condition. Papillo erythroderma of ophuji. You should have a idea about this. Uh, you know concept. This diagnosis. And I have already told you there are deep seated vesicles which are present, and this is the case of form folix. This is the case of form folix, and the patients are going to have a history of atopy. This can be there in the patients of form folix, and yes, sago green or tapioca vesicles are going to be seen over the palms and sides of the hand and topical steroids can be used in this condition so all these are correct and option c that is they can be painful but not prolific this is a false statement why because uh, this is half correct and half wrong the lesions are no doubt painful but they are also prolific so this not word if it was not there then option c also would have been right why because the form folic lesions are both painful as well as pruritic and you uh, in the this question if you observe carefully option a all eczema is dermatitis but all dermatitis is not eczema this statement is right why because see basically dermatitis is an umbrella term dermatitis is nothing but dermatitis so there is you know inflammation of the skin so eczema is one of one part of the dermatitis and there are other dermatitis which are not eczema like for example seborrheic dermatitis okay it is it is not considered to be an eczema but it it comes under the purview of the dermatitis so option a is right pruritus pruritus is the hallmark clinical feature in eczema definitely itching is going to be there and pruritus is the other name for itching Acute eczematic eruption is typically edematous, vesicular, and may be exudative. This option is also right, and definitely uh, acute eczema. The patients are going to have this oozing coming out. Why? Because the there is going to be a spongiosis present 
in the skin spongiosis is going to be seen in the acute eczema so you might have uh, already understood that spongiosis is hallmark of chronic eczema is a wrong statement why because it is a hallmark for acute eczema but not chronic eczema can anyone tell me what is the hallmark feature of chronic eczema yes anybody can uh, anybody tell what is the hallmark feature for chronic eczema so clinically the hallmark feature is lichenification which you have already seen in the first question uh, so can anyone tell me what is the hallmark histopathological hallmark in the case of chronic eczema yes anybody all those students who are uh, watching this session live uh, can you please try to uh, tell what is the answer for this question so please remember it is acanthosis it is acanthosis which is the hallmark feature of uh, histopathological feature of chronic eczematous lesions okay very very important for you to remember so the complications of erythroderma are all except please remember erythroderma is the other name for exfoliative dermatitis it is the other name for exfoliative dermatitis it is other name for exfoliative dermatitis in this basically the patients are going to have uh, uh, more than 90% of the body surface area showing inflammation that is uh, redness will be there and along with that scaling will be there so basically because of the increased blood flow to the skin the patients cardiac functions will become deranged and there is going to be a high output cardiac failure so option a that is hocf will be there as a complication in these patients and because of the scaling and you all know that scaling is statum corneum and it is basically keratinocyte and keratin is a protein which is present so there is going to be a loss of protein so there will be hypoalbuminemia hypoalbuminemia and the patients are going to have raw skin because of which there will be high chance of infections and along with the skin infections even respiratory tract infections are also very very common in these patients so option c is also right and option d is a wrong because these patients are going to land up and they are going to have hypothermia hypothermia but not hyperthermia okay so option d is the wrong statement among the given options and this is a very very classical uh, you know description of nummular eczema that is coin shaped erythematous plaque that is eczematous lesions present in a patient it is called as nummular eczema very very uh, important memory based question and this is also basically a memory based question hanifin rajko criteria is used for the diagnosis of atopic dermatitis or atopic eczema so what is this uk refinement so Uh, this is actually hanifin rajko criteria having major and minor criteria but a uh, small refinement has been made to this whereby essential criteria is there which says that an itchy skin condition uh, or parental report of scratching or rubbing should be there in a child and along with that at least three of these should be there what are th what are those things onset below the age of 2 years onset below the age of 2 years history of skin crease involvement that is flexural involvement including cheeks in children under 10 years so including cheeks even the face involvement is also considered as one of the criteria history of a generally very dry skin which is nothing but xerosis so a dry skin should be there and personal history of other atopic disease or history of any atopic disease in a first degree relative in children under 4 years of age okay what is the first degree relative so it can be either uh, the parents or the siblings or the offsprings okay visible flexural dermatitis so dermatitis of the cheeks forehead of outer and outer limbs in children under 4 years so these this is called as uk refinement of the hanifin rajka criteria and this is a very very simple question so all of you marked it right very good and the question by looking at this so in a child coming with the hypopigmented lesion over the face with scaling so the two important differential which you should remember are first thing is pityriasis alba 
and the other one which you must remember is the leprosy and specifically indeterminate leprosy indeterminate leprosy and in the indeterminate leprosy uh, the patients uh, are going to come hail uh, from uh, the area which is very very common uh, commonly given as either in the north india as chandigarh uh, and in the south they will give uh, either as tamil nadu chennai okay or even uh, a few areas of andhra pradesh and apart from this they will be a uh, mention that the lesion is atrophic but not the, the history of scaling will not be there there will be a mention of atrophy as a clue for you to diagnose it as indeterminate leprosy okay and uh, this as i have already mentioned is called as myers and nevers bear by a birthmark that is a nevers so this is actually a nevers so somehow the body mounts a immune response against this nevers because of which there will be a surrounding eczematous changes that is erythema and scaling can be noted and usually most of the time this is a self limiting spontaneously resolving condition okay but some uh, other times the patient may needs treatment and this is a very very classical uh, you know description a uh, 16 year old child itchy lesions on the arm and you are able to see that flexures are involved flexures are involved flexures are having eczematous changes and family history is positive for asthma that is some kind of a atopic history is also given so with all these clues the diagnosis is going to be atopic dermatitis and this question so uh, domestic help uh, that is uh, some worker is complaining of some intensely pruritic lesions for 3 days history reveals that there is some history of change of detergent please remember detergents are either mild acidic or alkali in nature so because of these acids or alkalis what happens is due to the contact there is going to be a irritant reaction there is going to be a irritant reaction which is going to produce what is called as irritant contact dermatitis so among the given options please remember option c is wrong why because delayed type of hypersensitivity it is associated with allergic contact dermatitis but not irritant contact dermatitis option a sensitization is not required yes there is no need for any sensitization in the irritant contact dermatitis and at the first uh, you know contact itself with the detergent there can be uh, con- uh, eczematous changes it can occur in any one without predisposing factor this is also right so tomorrow if you start to clean the uh, you know utensils are the clothes with your hands with the detergents and if the detergent is a very very strong uh, you know in nature strong chemicals harsh chemicals and even you and me also can develop this irritant contact dermatitis and yes it is due to the direct toxic effects of the strong chemicals it is not any allergen which is present in the detergent but it is due to the strong nature of the chemicals which are present in those products because of which this dermatitis develops and this point delayed type of hypersensitivity it is associated with allergic contact dermatitis instead of delayed type of hypersensitivity they can also mention it as type 4 hypersensitivity reaction uh, 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 the, the uh, so you need to know that delayed type of hypersensitivity or cell mediated immunity or type 4 hypersensitivity reaction all these are one and the same and they are synonyms and they are associated with allergic contact dermatitis okay gold standard diagnostic test for airborne contact dermatitis very very important very very important question the answer is patch test and basically patch test works on the principle that it is going to identify the type 4 hypersensitivity reaction okay and in the airborne contact dermatitis basically it is type 4 hypersensitivity reaction uh, hypersensitivity which is going to play a major role in the etiopathogenesis so please remember it is not serum ige levels why because uh, the serum ige levels may be fluctuating and they can be even normal in the patients who are having this uh, uh, you know airborne contact dermatitis or allergic contact dermatitis okay i hope all of you enjoyed this uh, session uh, please uh, do like this video so that Uh, i will get to know that these sessions are really helpful for all of you and if in case uh, you are not in my telegram group 
please do join my telegram group which is completely related to dermatology the links are there in the description description below you can scan that uh, this code and also you can join this and if you want any specific topic in dermatology to be discussed by me you can put that in the comment section or in the live chat right now and yes put god first and you will never be last and the dermatology recall sessions are very very important so fmg the uh, december session the video is there already in my channel so i will leave that link in the comment and also already the description this link is there and yes do like this video and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel if you are not yet done that and uh, share this video among your friends so that they will get some help uh, out of uh, you know the dermatology topics which i am discussing and if you wish to get the pdf of this session if you are watching this as a record session please type pdf in the comment section and also at least do like the video and if any of these are achieved first so more number of uh, you know comments with the pdf being uh, commented in the comment section or at least 20 likes so whichever is achieved first then we are uh, i will post this as a soft copy in my telegram group in my telegram group okay so that's it in this uh, video friends uh, i hope all of you enjoyed this uh, if you have any doubts any queries suggestions comments feedbacks you can feel free to leave all of those in the live chat right now or if you are watching this as a recorded session you can also leave that in the comment section below okay yes we will be live for uh, 30 more seconds 30 more seconds and uh, i will stop the streaming of uh, this video afterwards if you are having any queries whatever may be your query regarding dermatology from uh, you know mcq point of view you can ask me here Okay, Dr. MBRL says uh, there is a doubt regarding oxy definitely. So, anything related to oxytocin, if uh, there is a related uh, video or uh, uh, anything, we can uh, look and I will try to post the related topics in the next session about oxytocin and skin. Thank you so much, friends, till uh, for watching the video till this point. Uh, I hope all of you have enjoyed this. Uh, Happy learning dermatology. Sarvam Sri Krishna Arpanam. Sarve Jana Sukino Bhavantu. Thank you so much. And we will again meet in the tomorrow's uh, session on papillosquamous disorders. Till then. Bye bye.